15 very common grammatical mistakes in English. Question 1. It's not quite what I'm looking for. It is a contraction of the words it is or it has. It is a possessive determiner in the same group as my, your, his, her, our, and there. Question 2. You and I both have the same thinking about that. Use you and I when it is the subject of the sentence. Use you and me when it is the object of the verb. Question 3. If I were you, I would accept this job. We use the phrase, if I were, when we are expressing statements that are imagined or contrary to fact. Besides, we say, if I were you, to someone when we are giving them advice. We use the phrase, if I was, when referring to something that really happened. Question 4. Which sentence is correct? The correct sentence is, the child never smiles or laughs. We use or after the negative form of a verb instead of and. Question 5. Here is the list of items that are missing. The subject follows the verb when we use here and there in front position. Subjects and verbs must agree in number. In this sentence, the subject is the list, not the plural noun items. Question 6. She was so excited that she skipped happily back to her bedroom. Here, happily is an adverb that modifies the verb skip. The words happiest and happy are adjectives. Using these words here would not make sense. Question 7. The correct answer, all of whom. They have three sons and one daughter, all of whom are married and have children. We use the object form of the pronoun after all of. 8. Should have. I should have told him about the meeting. We use should have to express regret about the past. In informal speech, it is contracted to should have. Should have sounds like should of. However, should of doesn't exist and is grammatically incorrect. 9. The correct answer, between. They lived in Canada between 1995 and 2003. We use between but not among to connect times or numbers. 10. Which sentence is correct? Don't let anyone know this about you. Let is followed by an object and an infinitive without to. 11. Which sentence is correct? 
I am not let to stay out late. I am not allowed to stay out late. Both are possible. I am not allowed to stay out late. We don't use the passive voice with let. Allow or permit is normally used instead. 12. Which is the correct answer to this question? Do you think Dave has been invited to the party? I suppose so. I don't suppose so. Or, I suppose not. Each of these choices could be used here. We can use suppose in short answers. If the reply is negative, I don't suppose so, and I suppose not are possible. 13. His real name is Augustine, but we call him Gussie, not as Gussie. The correct structure is to call someone plus noun. We don't use as here. 14. Which sentence is correct? I suggested you to buy a new house. I suggested that you buy a new house. Or both are possible. The correct answer. I suggested that you buy a new house. It's incorrect to use me, us, you, etc. as indirect object pronouns after suggest. When we suggest an action to someone, we can use a that clause. We can also say I suggested buying a new house. 15. If or whether. The correct answer, I couldn't decide whether or not to be angry with her. We use whether, not if, directly before or not. How many answers did you get correct? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below.